the purpose of this next video is to show how you can use the dump and restore or use tools in, in SQL Lite to dump and restore your database. One of the problems you run into when working with uh, a software application is you have databases full of data and typing the data into the database is um, is tedious and uh, oftentimes you want to use the same data set to run a set of tests. I'm going to show you how to uh, how to go about uh, using dump and restore. So first I'll change to the directory. Now you'll notice in this directory I have a database called dr.db so I'll go sqlite3 dr.db and I'll dump what I've got. Just to, so, so I spent time building this database. Now granted it's not big but created a table, added a few names, created a, uh, some phone numbers a table with phone numbers and added phone numbers. Now if I want to uh, save this information what I do is I go um, run the dot output command. So I go dot output and I'll call the file phone dump dot txt. What that does is it tells the command line program to route the output to this file phone dump dot txt. Now if I go dot dump, nothing comes. If I go dot output std out, that just outputs it back to the command line. As you can see, if I run the dot dump command again, now I'm going to quit out of this and check our directory. And now you'll notice a new file called phone dump dot text. And if we type that file you'll notice that it has everything that was in our dump. And you say this is nice but uh, how can we how can we uh, use it later? Let's suppose you fire up another empty database so let's call it um, um, let's call it aa.db. Okay, if we do a dot dump here there's nothing in the database. Now we want to load phone dump dot text with all this data into the database. So what you do there is you you execute the dot read command. So you say dot read phone underscore dump dot txt. That will read and and uh, read the contents of that file and uh, build the database out of it. Let's see what we get now that it's read the file. And now our new file, aa.db, has this data set loaded in. So this video, in this video I've shown you how to dump the contents of your database and how to restore the contents into the same database or another database. You'll also notice that there are dr.db, which is the original file, and aa.db, which is the new file, have um, are now of the same size because they were populated by the same data. And that concludes this video. I hope you have found it enjoyable.